and have a great day all of you so thank you for watching my videos thank you for encouraging my channel so today i would like to explain maximum area of the projector so already area calculated in previous video area is 2 by 3 u power 4 by g square sin cube theta into cos theta u velocity of projectile g acceleration due to gravity theta angle of projection for getting maximum area with respect to theta area should be equal to 0 da by d theta is equal to 0 for maximum area d by d theta of so area formula is 2 by 3 u power 4 by g square into sin cube theta cos theta equal to 0 with respect to theta this part goes other side 0 by anything is 0 then d by d theta of sin cube theta cos theta is equal to 0 apply uv method according to derivative formulas derivative of sin cube theta is 3 sin square theta sin theta derivative cos theta this is derivative of sin cube theta that second term is cos theta plus first term constant sin cube theta derivative of second term cos theta derivative is minus sin theta is equal to 0 so now simplify this equation 3 sin square theta see anything is common here sin square theta is common it is there in both the remaining is 3 cos square theta plus into minus minus sin square theta common the remaining is sin square theta is equal to 0 so 0 by sin square theta 0 Then three cos square theta minus sine square theta is equal to zero. So this goes to denominator by sine square theta. Zero by anything is zero. Three cos square theta minus sine square theta on that side. So it becomes positive. Three cos square theta is equal to sine square theta. I can write this equation in one more way. That is, three is equal to sine square theta by cos square theta. Take square root on both sides. Root three is equal to root sine square theta by cos square theta. Root three is equal to square and the root cancel. Then sine theta by cos theta is equal to tan theta. Then theta is equal to tan theta is equal to root three theta value sixty degrees. Theta sixty. So when theta is sixty degrees, then area is maximum. So what is maximum area? Now maximum area is equal to two by three u power four by g square into sine cube theta. Sine cube sixty degrees, cos sixty degrees. Simplify this: two by three u power four by g square sine sixty root three by two 
cube three times root three by two into root three by two cos sixty one by two simplify this two cancel root three into root three three then maximum area is equal to root three by two into two into two eight u power four by g square. maximum area formula so one problem is given in previous je so i will explain two bullets are there two bullets fired from gun with different velocities here one bullet is fired with velocity 1000 meter per second Similarly, second bullet also fired with velocity. This is u one. Here u two. Two thousand meter per second. So area covered by. Here we know that when bullet is fired from the gun, so that is also behaves like projectile. So maximum area covered by the both projectiles means both bullets. The ratio of maximum area covered by bullet one and bullet two. So maximum area of first bullet and second bullet. Only velocity is given. What is relation between velocity and maximum area? Maximum area. Root three constant, eight constant, g constant in that particular place. So maximum area and velocity directly proportional to relation. So u one power four by u two power four u one power four by u two power four u one value is thousand power four by u two value is two thousand. Power four. Here zeros cancel. So a one by a two is equal to one power four by two power four. One power four is one. Two power four is sixteen. 